Welcome back to Mad Card again in our continuing playthrough of Starfield Clear the Galaxy. Oh, thank you, Mattel. Sitting here with the Sarah. And let's see what we have going on. Got a waypoint over there. Did a little housekeeping um, off screen before we I started this. Cleared out some inventory. It's been ages pretty much. since Constellation has had someone new. And you must be the latest hey, poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Sammy Davis Co. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Space Aquila Cowboy. moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust I me. Doubt it. Don't encourage him. Coraco, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about space shit crops, my do ship. we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's the wild Rough west country. of space. Sounds Found a groovy. lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. The artifact. Got it. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's going to be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passengers. Freewheeling is exactly what I'm going to be doing for a minute. I just don't want to have to come back to the lodge to pick you up. So y'all can be some stowaways for a little while. You know, sweep up, make the bed. Okay, let's change the uh, mission. And which one did I want to do today? The Vanguard stuff. That's the one. Okay. We got to go for our first mission for the Vanguard. Tau Seti. When you are, Captain. Okay. Nobody's scanning me, so we must be unsettled terrain here it's one of the border planets I guess or the, the outlying stuff I truthfully never pay attention to where it's located in the galaxy just hit it and go autopilot from the engine. That's pretty cool. Oh, lightning storm. Okay. Very moody and atmospheric. I like it. Hi. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes okay, of the Okay, where is Sarah? Systems. I hear her talking. I wonder what happened here. Oh, where were you hiding? She just dropped out of the ship, probably. Gotta give her time to load in. I think I have a flashlight mod on this uh, game because the regular one is just total garbage so I don't know if I can tell the difference I don't use the flashlight that much but just for the viewers I know these games can be pretty dark sometimes so I will uh, I'll use it every once in a while normally it's kind of distracting and I think it gives you away in stealth so it's not always the greatest idea to have on this place has been fucked up Needs a housekeeper. I have a cowboy on my ship that's not doing anything right now. If you pay him a few bucks, I bet he'd come in here and straighten all this shit up for you. Something's been through here recently, but left okay. everything Skill magazine? in place. Hmm. At least oh, we know recipe. it wasn't nah. the Crimson Fleet. Sarah, I'm in search mode right now. Can you keep it down? Gun rack, always good. Okay, crippling. Okay. 
Purple's always good. Yellow is better. But you really want the um, the advanced. That's the, the the best. I mean, you can have a purple, but if you have like a blue one that's advanced, it might be better. You know, just in base damage and all that kind of stuff. So you really want to see that advanced uh, word in your weapon description. And they usually don't drop until, you know, you get to higher levels. So don't spend all your money and resources upgrading starter weapons like this. Unless you correct. absolutely have to. You know, if you just can't get through the game without it, or you're playing on just an extreme difficulty where everything's a bullet sponge, then by all means, you do what you've got to do. Okay, nice little walk down here. Oh, that sounds a bit ominous. Okay, they have an animal problem. Alright, let's test out our, our boost pack. Whoop, okay, yep. First time I did that, I, I just kind of uh, went over the rail, and for whatever reason, Either even though I it's the same damn button, I, I forgot what the, the jump button was. Regardless, I think and I smacked. Here. <laughs> I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. Okay. Quiet. okay. We have a voice speaking to us. Hacked our comms, so to speak. Yeah, a bunch of dead people with food. Well, this is a food processing plant, so you gotta expect them all to have some food on them. That's how they pay them, probably. Okay. Random stranger. What happened here? So what do we got here? Too clean to be Adrian. one of the settlers. You didn't build a wall, did you? Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? You'll make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. I am not. Ooh, I have a soldier line. Okay, no matter how wartime, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> Haven't brought the joke to your home world just yet, huh? No, not really. But you see vanguards a hell of a lot better than what I've got. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terror Oxisio, what is with all these great one names? One of the nastiest Oxisio aliens Machina, humanity's ever crossed paths with. Which, of course, and means ship one, machine. Well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I Rolls off the tongue better. A terror morph did all this damage. Machina I mean, I've heard machine. the stories. Okay. But to see the decimation first Didn't the scapegoat guy, he a Ve Victus, the general that got <laughs> I sure thrown could. under the bus? Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, Victus means. Probably means I'm going to need a tissue sample in, uh, from it. In Greek or Latin and or whatever the hell that, it is. I need its corpse. Of course you do. Probably easier to but give you your corpse. But there is a way corpse. we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Alright, let's go take Good. care of this. Once I see the we connection the reset, I get. I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Okay. Quick loot. You know when they start throwing a bunch of ammo and especially explosives at you, some shit's about to go down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, just ammo boxes laying everywhere. What you normally find at a food processing plant. Hey, I'll take it. I'm looking to gift horse in the mouth here. Suppressed Eon. Okay, it's a pistol. Alright, let's do it, Sarah. We spilled some shit on the floor in here. Nice cages, empty cages. Nice and rainy. Reminds me of the scene from Aliens where they first land on the Sutler's planet. Everything's abandoned. Nasty weather outside. 
Wish I had Vasquez with me here right now. She would take care of this whole thing. To analyze. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plants turrets took a beating. But More I should bullets. be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Money. Just Take get that. the thing to chase you down the alleys between Crafting the buildings. Materials. And you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Oh, hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the terramorph is. Not connected Ooh, a balance to boost pack. Okay, that's better that than the basic stuff. should be a terminal stuff. in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Ammo and guns. This is not looking good. Let's find us a ship machine. Just in case I have to run for my life, let's get a better boost pack on. Got all these basics. Yeah, balance. There we go. Yeah, sold a bunch of stuff. Made sure I had my best spacesuits on. Get the auto rifle. One target. He's out there. Trackers reading green. Very ominous part of the game. Oh, look at that. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing. It's just freaky the first time you play it, let me tell you. And I thought that was the bad guy. I'm like, oh, hey, he looks like a turd. Then that motherfucker rolls over. Holy ecstasio. Method of killing is just pull your guts out through your mouth. Look, I wouldn't engage directly if you could avoid No, I'm not engaging directly. They're set up, but need power. There's breakers on each of the buildings you can throw to get them live. Once they're online, lead the terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. All very alien-inspired. The, the tracker tells you how close it is to you. When that thing starts beeping, you better watch your ass. This thing will fuck you up and try to go head-to-head -head with it. Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch. I'm not sure what so makes it We need it to get here, some uh, auto turrets up and running here quickly. 97 meters away. Okay, that's good. That's good. It gets within 50 and you better start worrying because this thing can move and jump. I don't know if any of y'all know that uh, know that movie Aliens. There is a I don't know if it's a director's cut or extended version or something. Uh, when they're holed up in the, the settlers thing, waiting for the aliens to attack, uh, there is a version where they have auto turrets that they set out. It's not in every version of the movie, and I think I've only seen it once. But it also reminds me of this: how you set up these auto turrets. Tracker, you have the tracker, the, the tense noise, the auto turrets, and a huge fucking alien that's trying to ass fuck you. There we go. There we go. Okay. And handy dandy, all these the late oh see, it's going off. You have three different sections of these auto turrets just going at it. And uh, the laser pointers will show you if it gets close enough it'll show you where the hell it is very handy because it's dark and nasty out here and like I said you turn your back and that you turn back around and that thing is right on top of you and it's got some some attacks oh, oh there it is there it is see it's been chewed up by turrets and it's still got most of its health left oh shit and that was one of its attacks I think I think it blew up a turret See that multiple auto rifles hitting it? It is not going down quickly. Come on. I 
think I tried to fight it the first time without the, the turrets. I wasn't really paying attention. I let it sneak up on me. That was a hell of a fight. That was a lot of jumping on top of stuff and staying out of its reach. Come on, ship machine. Let's go. Show me what you've got. Yeah, Sarah, you get it. Tough talk. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, and also, I don't know if you knew this, but this thing burrows. It's like a fucking mole rat. Look at that, it's shooting right into the ground. It's not close by. Oh, oh, look at that, and then it pops up over on the other side. Guy's got too many weapons in its arsenal, let me tell you. Let me just try to get it. Come on. Oh shit, see that? He picked out my one gun firing at him. <laughs> I think I can handle him now, maybe. <laughs> oh, see, see that? Look at that. I'm sneaking. I'm way the hell over here, and that son of a bitch already. Oh, look at that shit. Come on. See how fast he got over there? Come on, you fucker. Oh, Sarah, I was going to beat him, you know, barehanded. It's a good job, Sarah, but I, I could have handled it. I didn't need your help right there. Look at this funky asshole. Might as well take what we can. Shit machine taken down. You look at his noggin. Now his face is kind of down in the dirt, but... Yeah, he's kind of... He's got a real skin condition. He's kind of a conglomeration of a lot of different movie aliens. But those things are tough. You don't go face to face with them. Do you have food? Now oh, you got a little med. Okay. After you got splatter all over the wallet, penicillin didn't help you much, did it? All right, Hadrian. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or. Wait. You did it, didn't you? Oh, I did. <laughs> Barehanded. You just flatlined. Didn't even need the turrets. Oh, yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> All right, no big deal. You didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? Yep, I grabbed a handful. All right. Of goo. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. All right, lead the way, Hadrian. In your red eyes. I know you're injured and all, but let's take your time. I may have to put this damn microscope all the way on the other side. It couldn't have been in the same room you were in. That would be too convenient. It smelled like a spam factory in here. You all know what spam is. I love spam. Raved on that shit. Fry it for breakfast. <laughs> Probably close to what they're making here. Chopped up animal bits. Uh, older model. Okay, let's see what you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. Damn. This equipment? It's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But Terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Why the hell would they? Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, Terramorphs tend to just appear. 70 no to 100 years later, I am moving why. on. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. 
Which means... Sounds perfect for a plot of this game, though. You're looking at a truly strange murder. Or a faster type of terramorph growth. The results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. You can have a very long conversation with this lady. You're right. We just need more information. And this is actually first. one of the better storylines of this I game. I enjoy this more than the main storyline of the game. Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place I mean, it to is, start. I mean, I love looking. Alien. I love the Alien if franchise, and this is so how to access it. heavily based on that. It's really cool. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed. And far too get short, in my opinion. Confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. But what I'm sure he's hard to get to, isn't to him he? For me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. You're fine. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. Oh, yeah. You can even you show them this. Mower like this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is Plus, worried when I tell them I killed a ship machine. The horizon. They should recognize the name. They'll recruit me into the Justice League after that. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Awesome Full name, Percival. <laughs> He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here, it's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Yeah, for the barehanded thing and all. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars at least. Now, please go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. I'm off to see Momoa. Right, back to headquarters. Now I have to kill Sarah to keep my secret of killing that thing barehanded. Hmm, maybe she'll keep my secret. I need to dig up some dirt on her. While we're here, it wouldn't hurt if we checked in at the lodge. Got bigger fish to fry, lady. Just to keep your mouth shut. Aquaman, guess what I did? See that scientist out in front of mast? Staring at trees. Sounds Look who's upset. back. All set Whatever with that probationary is, it mission? That bad, right? You can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the vanguard whenever you're ready. A terror? What? How did you it's walk away with the terramorph machine. tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? You killed Bare a terramorph handed. on your first mission. If I could be frank for a moment, holy shit. It's holy oxysia. Above and beyond doesn't really begin to describe it now, does it? Earned yourself some serious hazard pay on this one. But uh, if none of the settlers made it, who's got you delivering the sample? A researcher. Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Yep, scapegoat. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Face tribunal Ooh. at the end of the colony. Xeno war. weapons. It was we don't know if we want to be involved in this. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. Seems like she's a nice person. Xeno warfare, though. Maybe she's changed well, her ways. She doesn't want to turn it into sure a weapon she knows anymore. Her aliens. Because so far in this game, every time they've talked about terramorphs, it's like, yeah, we tried to control them, and they Adrian. woke up and asked. She like mentioned this. why she thinks this sample is so special. I. I'm gonna see Percival. I see. This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, 
supporting UC system defense against the Crimson oh, Fleet. Oh, Raven. Actually, it's not. Now Crimson I guess you Fleet's have two also pretty cool mission in this. Head to the UC Vigilance and, we'll and help out SysDef or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's nice. also got some Wait, custom Captain ship already. modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. Okay, got new, new spacesuits and stuff. Got a level. Hmm. Let's check the level. I don't know if there's anything I want yet. Got to keep my combat skills going up so I don't die. Got a ways to go. Got to do kill 50 guys. Yeah, that's going to be a bit. Um, yeah, I got to destroy some more ships. I could do it in the simulator, but I don't know. Hadn't, hadn't made up my mind on that one yet. It seems like everything I need, I haven't unlocked the ability to go up a rank. Hmm. We'll keep that one in our pocket for now. Looks like we're going back to Mars. Let's go find uh, Mr. Percival. Knight of the Round Table. I might complain about landing here, but I have to admit, there is a sort of hidden beauty to the Martian landscape. Deeply hidden. Like beer goggle hidden. Trade Authority, because Percival used to work for him, or does work for him, maybe still. Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. <sighs> it's depressing. To this cheery gentleman. Invoices can be collected from the... Oh. Not here for a delivery, are you? <laughs> Captain Mad Martigan. Let's not go official on him yet. Dr. Walker hasn't been employed here for some time now. A shame, too. I would we have taken part of that damn ship machine and hung it around my neck. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting. Intimidate everybody. The city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally Cut does. Cut its balls off. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a discipline issue. Discipline? I presume Come the on. miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. That won't be necessary. The Trade Authority isn't interested in employing someone so unreliable. But we would like the money he owes us. If you can convince okay, him to pay his debts, payoff, huh? we'd be most grateful. Oh, I loathe the Trade Authority. Loathe them, Is huh? it absolutely necessary that we have to help them? Okay, Sarah, calm down. I'm not, uh, I'll tell him. I couldn't have put that better myself. Mm -hmm. hmm. Pity. Perhaps a little advance on my part might pique your interest. Visit the Sixth Circle, a bar on the lowest level of the city. If someone in Sidonia knows where Percival is, you'll find them there. All right, off to the bar. You can take the elevator or you can just jump off the ledge. be civilized. We'll play along. Found a clutch of heat leeches breeding in the utility section the other day. 
Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. Oh, this we got the local roughneck tough kid. guys. All right, chin strap. Doc Walker? Well, you're barking up the wrong. Andy, you. The tough one keeps shifting. Can you talk to me? Hey, Lou. Not every you know, day. You're missing a strap from your eye patch. Wanders into my bar, claiming they know people. What some, do you want, string? Dr. Walker? Something? Are you clinching to hold that thing in there? That's so. Hmm. Now, if that tag's a forgery, you know, tilt your head forward too. Damn good one. All right. Maybe she did send you. Or maybe you just know where to buy your fakes. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker. Percival made himself scarce for a reason. Yeah, he's like heavily His in debt. debt. to the trade authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Can bet that person This is a very roundabout way of just Percival, getting you to pay off his debt. The rest of us I could have just done that where I was. I'm always inclined to help a friend. Yeah, I can get rid of the debt. That's good to hear. There's many options to now, do this. You can hack you a computer. You can go on a separate most mission. The most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just so, saunter up to the authority and pay him direct. It's funny if you hack, you if go through the problem of hacking away. the computer, you can knock course, his debt all the way down like one credit. The trade authority keeps and they can't argue with you because it's in, officially in their computer. Files on a central server inside their storeroom. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. Making that adjustment would be illegal. We don't want to do that. I don't think this is a road we should travel. But, uh, one friend so of She hates the trade authority, another, but she also Sidonia's doesn't like screwing or, or taking money from them. Spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, and you might need these. Yeah, free now, digi pick, that's good. What say you get out there and help Dr. Walker? I got better uses for him, though. Hey, you, maybe Hadrian's friend. Well, you can talk to this doofus and go get a separate mission for him. But. Since we do have the mod that gives all the vendors a whole lot more money, so you're not trying to track down um, things to sell or places to sell stuff at, um, I've been I made a quite a bit of money, so I'm not going to be cheap. I'm just going to go pay off his debt, fair and square, hmm. up and up. Most visitors can't wait to. Then I'll take it out of Percival's ass there later. something else? Do you know? I don't even know how much this is. I don't think I've Very ever actually well. paid it off before. Let me take a look at his... It better not be a crazy amount. Here. His current balance. And do remember, all transactions are final. Ooh, 20 grand. That's not nothing. Hmm. I do have... I got a quite Wonderful. a bit of money, though. Dr. Walker's debt is officially no longer our problem. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him... Please let Percival know I'm eagerly looking forward to never working with him again. All right, Edoxicio. Let's go tell Eye Patch everything's taken care of. Obviously, I have enough money to buy your bar, so you better start talking. Where's the Grail Knight? Yeah. Did you now? Fine work. My end of the bargain, then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devil's HQ. Place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit, but we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Good you're going in there, actually. Bunch of spacers moved in, Great. not long after we got Percival set up. Don't expect he'd run out before they got taken care of, but I'm sure he'll appreciate not having to find out if I left him with enough rations. Here, the passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. We should have a talk, when you have the time, of course. 
Yes. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time okay. to talk. Okay, we gotta let Sarah talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact the typical you found on Bacterra. Follower stuff. When you pulled it as you go rock, along, they want blah 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 blah. Held it in your hands for the first time. How did you feel? Because you can romance these folks if you make them like no, you enough. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? It's all tingly. Raw energy? I've never heard that one before. I shouldn't be surprised. The artifacts aren't exactly what you'd call normal. <laughs> true, true. But hey, how else would you describe it? The artifacts are so different, so alien. And I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. Quite the mystery. Quite. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Frustrating? No. Bewildering? Yes. It would be... Oh, well, an explorer's dream to solve a mystery like this. Well, let me make your dreams come true. I knew I picked the right that? person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk. And for keeping an open mind. And I also wanted to say, well... I'm pleased we're on this journey together. See, she's looking for a relationship <laughs> the already. Decision I've made in quite I'm a actually long saving time. myself for an uh, Oxisio Machina. I'm going to bridge the gap between our species. Probably have to stop calling them shit machines if I do that, though. Not a great first line. Just yeah, the see if we can find one who's a little more receptive. Human booty. Okay, we gotta go on a little bit of a jog here. Pretty sure. I don't think there's any other way to get um, to this access point. I think it's just kind of... Yeah, see, there's, it's, there's a place, but it's unknown. So you've got to run there. And it's a pretty good hike. Gives you a chance to test out your uh, the limited gravity on this planet. If you have a, a good high-level um, character and you, you know, a lot of stuff into your boost pack and your stamina and all that kind of stuff... Um, you can damn near fly the whole way there. You can pull a total Superman on them. But uh, the normal way you do it is you... I'm going to get my right gun out. The normal way you do it is you um, run, you know, deplete your stamina or almost deplete it. And uh, then as you're jumping, you're recovering stamina. So it's just a cycle that you can do to either sprint or jump. And I'm assuming they're the same speed. If you sprint and then jump, I'm assuming you're still moving at, moving at a sprint speed. Yeah, see, the boost is not great. I mean, it's better because it's a balanced boost pack now. And I do have that mod that supposedly makes it a little bit better. They're going to keep wanting me to place an outpost. I don't know if I, I may just do it at some point. Maybe off camera, just make an outpost real quick to... Um, shut that thing up so it won't tell me to do it every time we're on an alien planet. But I'm not really planning on making, you know, making a bunch of outposts in this. I've never been a settlement builder, even in Fallout 4. Uh, in Skyrim, I did like doing the houses, but it's really just, it's not about a, a building thing. It's about a furnishing type thing. On a hearth fire, have to, uh, you can build the house, but it's just, it's pretty standard. You know, you choose what type and then, then it's built for you, so... A little uphill. Then at the top of this hill, I think me and Sarah are going to have to start dealing with these spacers to enter into this uh, these mines. Which means it's a fantastic place to stop here uh, before we get into this fucking fight. So, 
thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad y'all sat down and watched with me. Um, I will see you in the next one.